Hey everyone, it's a new month and we are so excited to see what God has in store for us. It's April and you know what that means? Easter is just around the corner. This month we are celebrating the hope that we can find in Jesus. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. We can always put our hope in God. God sees the bigger picture in our lives, even if we just might see a few of the puzzle pieces. That's why we can trust God, no matter what. everyone. I love when we lift our voices together because we're not just singing for the sake of singing. We are singing to praise our amazing God. Our Savior Jesus is alive and well. When he rose from the grave, everything changed. And that's why we sing and worship him. We have so much to celebrate. So let's sing together now.
I am yours. Jesus, you are mine. And destroy perfect peace. Earthly pain finally will cease. Celebrate. Jesus is alive. My name is Jacob. Hey, question for you. Who likes puzzles? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I do. <laughs> I like all kinds of puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles and Sudoku puzzles, crossword puzzles. Oh, those little pieces of metal that get all stuck together and you have to spend hours twisting them apart. Yes! Woo! I love puzzles. Every single puzzle has a solution, no matter how challenging. Puzzles remind me of hope. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. You see, sometimes life can feel like a puzzle, kind of like you're trapped in a maze. But when you have hope, you know that there's always going to be a way out. Got it, Jacob. Woo! Or what if you've got so many problems that you feel like you're underwater? Well, hope reminds you to just keep swimming. And then there are those problems that just seem impossible to figure out, like this bottle puzzle right here. The object of this puzzle is to get the ball into the neck of the bottle. Problem is, there always seems to be something in the way. I've been trying, <laughs> this is fun, to get this one, no, almost there, solved for like 10 years. No, come on. And then go. <gasps> Maybe this one is impossible. In today's story, we'll hear about two sisters and their brother who found themselves in a situation that seemed impossible. So, they called on Jesus, who didn't do what they expected. I bet this bottle wouldn't expect if I got a hammer right now. Oh, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> oh, did you figure it out? Yes, Brandon, I did it. After decades of attempting multitudes of algorithms, I have finally succeeded in solving the puzzle that experts have deemed unsolvable. Uh, I don't know about that. I, John of the Basement Studio, dreamer of dreams, wronger of rights, and eater of cord nuts, have entered the labyrinthian abyss and have emerged triumphant. Oh, cool. Can I see?
Oops. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. Yeah. Working on a masterpiece there, John? Oh yeah. Well, you know how I've always wanted to be an artist. Nope. It's like this voice inside me screaming, let me create, but I've kind of been ignoring it, you know, pushing it into the background. Until now. That's right, it's time. I've got to show the world that I'm more than just a guy who eats junk food and falls down a lot. I... Oh. Oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, look at that. Huh. I am an artiste. Mm. Okay, well, this is perfect. How's it uh, Well, because of our guest today, you'll get the chance to show off your work. Oh! Do you have guest again? You'll see. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey! Hey, come on in. Mm -hmm. Have a seat. Yeah, watch out for the floor donuts. <laughs> mm. ah. All right, so uh, tell us who are you and what do you know? My name is Kim and I'm an art collector. Oh, very cool. An art collector? No I'm kidding. That's wow. You know what? I, I I love art. I've actually been, you know what? You know what? I, 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 I like this. You know what? This is incredible. So, uh, what kind of art do you like to collect? Oh, all kinds. Um, mm -hmm. Paintings, photographs, pottery. Pottery? Hey, I've been working on some pottery. Actually, I'm an artiste. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. Very nice. Yes, it's an elephant. Yeah, would you, do you think this is something you'd like to, uh, you know, collect? Oh, um, wow. I don't know. Um, uh, well, it's very, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, are you just starting out? <laughs> well, sort of. I mean, I've been an artist my whole life, but this is the very first thing I've actually made. Oh, uh, well, mm -hmm. this is a great first effort. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just not sure if it really fits in with my collection. Okay. Uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope I didn't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. An artist must be able to withstand the harshest criticism. And this is me withstanding. Okay. So, uh, do you have anything with you from your collection that you'd like to show us? Sure do. Mm. This bowl uh -huh. was made by my daughter. Ooh. She's very new to pottery, but this piece really means a lot to me. That's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. It's really, really... You, your <laughs> daughter, made that? <laughs> oh, here's one of my favorite pieces. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. This bowl is kintsugi. Is, uh, what? It's what? Kintsugi. It's an old Japanese art form. The artist takes something broken and creates something new out of it and uses gold to put all the broken pieces back together. Wow. Gold? Yep. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, but why fix a broken piece of pottery? You know, wouldn't it be better to make something new? That's the beauty of Kintsugi. See these gold lines? Oh, yeah. That's where the bowl broke. The artist has to piece the broken pieces together just right and then use a special glue and gold to fill in the cracks. Wow. Kintsugi highlights the cracks and the brokenness rather than covering them up. So the places where it was broken actually make the pottery more unique and beautiful and more valuable even. Oh, wait, more valuable, huh? That's right. Kintsugi artists make something good out of something that seems bad. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I'm making art! Uh, Kintsugi's not so much about breaking things, but rather putting them back together. Oh, that's right! That's right! Hey! I can glue this back together, and then I can make it more valuable. You got any gold? No. Hey! Let's make some more things valuable! Oh! No, no! no. no. A lamp! Kintsugi! 
<laughs> John, I don't think. What about the rubber chicken? Yeah. <laughs> Kazuki. Oh, it didn't. Uh... Oh, oh, this chalk. Ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, Kintsugi oh. chalk. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, stuffed animal. Kintsugi. So uh, thanks for coming on the show. Oh, um, the cow, the cow. Will he be Kintsugi all right? Cow. Probably. Okay. Oh, stop that. Okay, Kintsugi. Oh, it broke. All right, more art. It's, Kintsugi. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Art. Hey guys. Hey, I'm an artist, Kellen. Oh, are you? How are you today, Kellen? I'm doing great. And you know who else is doing great? Who? The so-and-so show players. <laughs> They're gonna be helping us out with today's story. And you can read this story for yourself in the book of John. So let's get to it. Jesus had many friends. And one of his close friends was named Lazarus. Lazarus, he had two sisters who were also friends with Jesus, Mary and Martha. One day, though, Lazarus got really sick. <laughs> Mary, where are you? Yes, my brother, I am here. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> I feel. Yes, brother? Sick. Hmm, I know. Me and Martha will write a letter to Jesus. He'll know what to do. So Mary and Martha had a oh. message sent to Jesus. Oh. Okay, excuse me, you silly billies. Uh, I got a letter here for uh, Jesus. Ah, that's me. Oh, you have a letter from Bethany. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't know no Bethany. No, it's the, it's the town, Bethany. No, it's from uh, Mary. Oh. And uh, Ma uh, mm -hmm. Martha. Martha. Okay. Martha, Martha, that's from her. Thank you. You're welcome. What does it say, my lord? Oh, our friend Lazarus is sick. But this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory. Even though his friend was sick, Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. Until, finally, Jesus said, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. I must go and wake him up. Oh, wait, wait. You sure that's a good idea? Because, I mean, look, when I'm sick, I love to sleep. Like, I love to sleep. So maybe he just needs to sleep so that he'll feel better. Problem solved. Here we go. We ain't got to go nowhere. Lazarus is dead. What? What? Come again? What? Lazarus is dead. He's dead. Dead. Like, for real, for real? And for your benefit, I'm glad I wasn't there. But now, you will believe. Come with me. When Jesus arrived, he found out that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Many had come to comfort Mary and Martha. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. My Rich. Lord, it is I, Martha. I wish you would come sooner. Maybe my brother would not have, would not have. Have what? Died. Ooh. But, but I know that even now, God will grant you anything you ask for. Your brother will rise again. I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even if they die. Do you believe this? Yes. My Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah and the Son of God. I'll go get Mary. It is I, Mary. <laughs> I just, I wish you would come sooner. Maybe my brother would not. <laughs> Man, I've never seen Jesus this sad. I gotta write this down. J. 
Jesus wept. <laughs> Where did they put him? Come and see. Jesus came to the tomb where they had placed Lazarus. It was a cave with a stone in front of the entrance, and a crowd gathered around outside. Right over here. Wait a minute. Are you Mary or Martha? Martha. Take away the stone. Um, but Lord, it, it's going to smell really bad. Lazarus has been in there for four days. Didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see God's glory? Father, I thank you for hearing me. I say this so that the people here will believe that you sent me. Lazarus, come out. Oh. <laughs> He's a mummy. Oh. No, it is me, Lazarus. I'm alive. Where's Mary? Shouldn't she be here too? Just a moment. <laughs> You're alive! I'm alive! Yay! <laughs> Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. There were many people there who saw what Jesus did and they believed in him. The end. That's amazing. Wow. Jesus really raised Lazarus from the dead, just like that. Yep. He is that powerful. That is so cool. And to think that we can have a relationship with him today. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah. We can put our hopes in Jesus because he is so powerful. Powerful enough to make something good come out of something bad. Just like Kintsugi. Oh, oh Kintsugi. Sure. No, not this. Well, hey, thanks for the story, Kelly. You're welcome. I'll see you guys. You know, it's so easy to forget how powerful God is, especially when times are tough. Yeah, and we all react a little bit differently when bad things happen. Yeah. So, reveal the question. Ooh. How do you react when bad things happen? Uh, do you get scared? Or really angry? Or do you talk about your feelings with someone you love? Or distract yourself with video games? Or you could eat a big bowl of cereal. Mm. Mm -hmm. No matter how you react, remember, you can have hope that God is powerful and with us through everything. I'm Brandon. I'm John. This is the so-and-so show. Hey, Kazuki. What? Hi. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think somebody will buy this? It's yeah. more valuable, right? Wow. Let's make it twice as priceless. Kintsugi. Oh. See, now it's even more. See, now they'll buy it. That's how you make art. You are an artist. I am an artist. That's how you make art. I... Yeah. Our God is so powerful. No matter what we face, our God is greater. He's stronger always. Listen to these words from Psalm 42, 5. My spirit, why are you so sad? Why are you so upset deep down inside me? Put your hope in God. Once again, I will have a reason to praise him. He is my savior and my God. Let's put our hope in God and make these words our prayer as we sing together. Darkness, your loving kindness. To 
Isn't it awesome to know that no matter what we're going through, God is always with us and he sent his son Jesus just for us. Did you pay attention to this really cool story about his friend and what he did for Lazarus? Wow. 
I'm so amazed at what he did for him. And that just shows me that we still have hope. So I wanna close in prayer today. I want you to just get really quiet for a minute. Bow your head, close your eyes, and let's talk to God. Dear God, wow, you are so powerful. It's amazing to hear how Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. Thank you for reminding us that you're here with us today and you're always working in our lives in big ways. When bad things happen, help us remember that we have the power that you give us to make something good come out of any situation. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, okay. When Jesus found out that his friend Lazarus was dying, he said, this sickness will not end in death. And he was right, wasn't he? When Lazarus died, it wasn't the end. After four days, God brought Lazarus back from the dead. Yes! Woo! And because of that, we can know just how powerful God is. God made something good come out of something bad. And you know what? God can still do that today. He may not bring someone back from the dead exactly, but when something bad happens to you or the world, God can help make something good come from it. When you're having a hard time with a subject in school, it may feel like a maze. But God can help you stick with it and learn from the experience. When you have problems at home or in your family, they can get so bad that you feel like you're underwater. But remember that a very powerful God is with you through whatever you're going through. For us, a problem may seem like it's impossible, but for God, the solution is simple. Got it. Here's the one thing to remember today. Whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. Whatever happens, God is so powerful, he can make good come from bad. You may not see or understand how God is working, but you've seen how God has worked in the past so you know you can trust God no matter what. I guess I'll have to move on to a different puzzle now that I've solved this one. Oh my goodness. No, I could do it again. No, just wait, just wait. Now that I've solved this one. Hold on. Solve this one. Okay. <laughs> you saw me do it now. You saw Jacob do it. Jake, come on, Jake. come on. Come on. <laughs> just, uh. Where's that hammer? <laughs> <laughs>